Haipu Jadunan Malangame, the unsung hero who was the son of Mahabharati, was born into the Rungame community of the Nagas in 1905 at Kambiro village of the Tamengalong district in Manipur. The people of Nagaland had their own religious belief systems before the advent of Britishers. Jadunan was one of the first persons who stood up against the British Raj and announced that he would liberate the people of his region from cruel Britishers. Young Jadunan since childhood was very keen to fight against British and closely watched the movement of soldiers, officials and traders of Manipur through this road. He closely observed their cruel activities, such as forcible collection of house tax and the oppressive porter system. All these incidents highly impacted Jadunan, and he had then decided to work towards achieving freedom for his country. Jadunan observed that weakening their native religious system was a device of the Britishers through which they could wholly put their foot on India. Haipu Jadunan was in his team when his political, religious and social revolt against Britishers began. He used to go into deep meditation for several days at a stretch when he visited places like the Zelad Lake in Manipur, which was a center of spiritual and religious importance for the Nagas. He also started making use of various local herbs and medicines as healing agents for treating the sick who used to consult him during their illnesses. He aimed at preserving and promoting the traditional religious beliefs and practices of the locals. He traveled across India with his fellow Nagas, searching and seeking support for his political leadership. He often traveled on horseback wearing formal British attire in order to not gain attention. But, the British officials somehow figured about his actions in 1928. Jadonang was arrested and his arrest coincided with the arrival of the Simon Commission in India which eventually increased his mass popularity further. Jadonang made a plan to militarily challenge the might of the British Empire soon after his release from jail. He also organized the Heraka or Rifen that also consisted of a separate battalion for women under the leadership of Rani Gadinili. The battalion was extremely well trained in local military tactics. After 1930, he eventually increased and intensified his activities against the colonial state. He initiated and suggested his people to stop the payment of all forms of taxes immediately, which agitated the British group government more and the situation was such that Jadunan and his activities were considered as an open threat to the British authority and their legitimacy in the Northeast. Jadunan was arrested on a false charge of murder of four Manipuri Bitelief traders by the then political agent of Manipur, who was following the orders of J. C. Higgins. On 29th August 1931, young Jadunan, who was barely 26 years old, was hanged till death in front of the full public by the order of British government. His famous slogan Makam Me Rui Gwan Tu Puni which means, the sons of soil will reign, has been an inspiration to all indigenous people in the northeast India. Jadonan's life serves as a beacon of hope and inspiration, showing us that the fight for justice and freedom is a continuous journey that transcends time. As we face the challenges of the modern world, emulating Jadonan's principles can guide us towards a future that upholds the dignity and rights of the people.